Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Let this be a gathering, O Lord, of your of your beloved servants. Let this be a gathering of your children called and recalled and renewed in our faith. Lord, help us to be that which you have called us to be and reassured by the blessings that you offer us each and every day. Lord, strengthen this time with your word that it might inspire other times with your word, that it might inspire fellowship, that it might inspire praise, that it might inspire lives that work in praise, that we might not confine it to a few short minutes here, but be able to take a healing presence into people's lives and, and be present in their struggles, to be present in your name, in, in grief and in celebration. Lord, help us with our struggles to do what is right, to do what is good. And not just what we think is good, but what is truly good, honors and glorifies you. And, and hears your word and what you are saying in your word as we are guided and inspired by your Holy Spirit. Lord, take this time, these moments, and help our lives become more like this. And help the, the work we do and the rest we take. Let it all praise you, O oh Lord that we might be a good work before you and our lives might be more of a witness than what our words can say. And your love will be known of us. Lord, this we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. And in sharing God's blessing and God's word, we turn to the letter to the Galatians, chapter 6, verse 9. And let us not be weary. Excuse the loud truck there. Galatians 6, verse 9, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And it's hard when, <laughs> when we have been so busy and we are caught up in being busy and, and everybody around us is busy and there's more and more work to do and we can find ourselves so tired of it all. Many Christians today are, are, are burning out, not because they lack faith, but in our mortal limitations, we grow weary of, sometimes it seems like we're banging our heads against the wall. Sometimes it seems like no one's listening, but you gotta keep doing well, doing goodness, doing the best we can in goodness, responding in grace, trying to sin no more. And not because it's gonna get us into heaven, but isn't it great to be that blessing? To, to think of not what the rewards of today will be, what we're going to get paid for our jobs, or where, what we might get in recompense or recognition for the good things we are doing, but the joy and the celebration that God sees in us when we love one another as we ought to love one another. But it can be a lot of work, and it can be exhausting. And if you're the kind of person who is is at their wits end, just remember, too, that you are not alone in, in the goodness you can offer, in the service we give to God, and in the praise and fellowship we are meant to have in all things. So may God uphold you and strengthen you. And if you're weary, help you find your rest, that you will be renewed in the work that you are called to do, in the joy that you are meant to be, and in the fellowship in this season and any season, as we do not faint away but find our rest and our peace and our renewal in Christ. God bless and keep you. Amen.